listening, friends. It's Ani. I'm so glad you came to read with me. If you want to read more stories with me, be sure to subscribe. All right. Are you ready for a story? Hey, guess what? This book is gonna let us in on a really big secret. Let's find out what it is as we read. Dodos are not extinct. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Dodos are not extinct, by Patty Donnelly. Psst! Hey, you! I got a pretty big secret to tell ya. I'm actually a dodo in disguise. I know, I know. Dodos are extinct, right? Wrong! We've been hiding out this whole time. When you become rare, you become famous. And when you become famous, people want photos and autographs. That celebrity life wasn't for us, so we disguised ourselves. And we're pretty good at it too. The old not being able to fly thing does prove to be a problem sometimes. No matter though, we slip into toxies and hang out with the penguins. My Uncle Hugo even hid out as an ostrich for a fortnight. He always likes to do his own thing. Dodos aren't the only ones. Other extinct animals are still out there to be spotted. Have you ever heard of woolly mammoths? Well, they actually shave all their hair off and just hang out with regular elephants. Pretty good, right? Sabertooth tigers do the opposite, though. To blend in with the other big cats, they grow moustaches to hide those massive teeth. They do get a reputation for being grumpy though, as those smilodons can't smile for school photos. Who else? Oh, have you ever heard of a quagga? Great name, right? Well, their front end looks like a zebra and their back end looks like a horse. So they just wear striped pants or a brown sweater and pretend they're one or the other. And do you think all pelicans are actually pelicans? There could be a pterodactyl looking under that big beak. Megalodons and mowers. Tasmanian tigers and passenger pigeons. Great oaks and giant Irish elk. The real professionals are the dinosaurs, though. These Jurassic experts have been doing it for millions and millions of years. Some can slip in among you humans without being noticed. Disguises can be expensive though, so a lot of dinosaurs have full-time jobs. In fact, one of the top surgeons is a velociraptor. Some dinosaurs are too big to blend in at the office, so they've had to get a little more creative. Instead of disguising themselves as other animals, they find other places to hide in plain sight. So keep your eyes peeled, for the next time you see a particularly stubbly elephant, or a tiger with a moustache, or you catch a huge crane sneezing, we could be right under your nose. Who knew there were so many extinct animals living among us in disguise? I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.